Hello. I'm going to add some widget areas and style them in a Studio Press theme. It works on the Genesis framework and I'm using a plugin. You've got to buy this plugin and it's called the Genesis Extender. So, this is the page I've got and I want to add three widget areas with content inside them and I want to style them just here. I'm going to put them here. So, first of all, let's go to our dashboard. First, I want to make the widget areas. So, go to Genesis, Extend Custom. You can only do this with the plugin. It's not it's not part of Genesis. It's sort of built. It's a plugin that's extra. So, uh, I want to make widget areas. So, we go widget areas, and I'm going to call them box one, two, and three. class these, cl these classes are built into Genesis uh, we're going to have one third first and I'm going to have a short code so I've got name of the uh, widget area class of one third first I'll save it add another one box two I'm going to have the same class, one third. Now you don't have to have this first, you only have to have first on the first box in a row. And this is a second box, so we don't need that. So we just need one third. Make it into a short code. Save my changes. You don't really need to save your changes in theory, but I like to be on the safe side. And we'll have box three. third and it's a short code again save my changes so I've got three widget areas and they're all one third and the first one is a class of one hyphen third gap first and they're all set to short code so now what I want to do is make a hook box to put these inside of. Now to save me typing out, all you do, you have the name, put that in there. you've got the name of your box, of your widget area, whatever you call your widget area, and you surround it in square brackets. Now I'll just, I'll just name this, so I'll call this one fill the box I think um, it's hooked we have to choose a hook to hang it on a hook is a, just a position in your in your web page and I want this one to be just before where the loop starts just so just above the main content and that's the hook or the hook is the position and all these different hooks are different positions in your web page so what we've done now because we've got these short codes we typed in the name of the widget area and surrounded it in square brackets then click this button that says do short code and that just adds the PHP code that makes the short code run so we'll just save our changes for a minute and then what I want to do I want to wrap these the reason we're using a hook box and not just widget areas is because I want to style these boxes first of all I'll just show you what it's like if we don't style the boxes so we've got to appearance, widgets, and we've now got this one, three, two, then in um, alphabetical order, that's why it says one, three, two instead of one, two, three. So all we need to do is drag into these boxes a widget. So I've already set these widgets up. But they're just, it's just an ordinary Genesis featured post widget. And you can have things like, um, it displays a featured post from your website and you can show the featured image set how many characters you want to be in there and things like that you'll, you'll see what it, if you haven't seen one before I'll show you in a minute right box 2 and that's the same it's another featured post widget 
top line, two instead of three, three instead of two. Get it mixed up. And there we go, box three. So if we have a look, we'll go to the web page and see what it looks like. See, now we've got these boxes, these three boxes. But I want to style the boxes. These are just widget areas. But I want to style the widget areas. So let's go back to our uh, Genesis Extender Custom hook boxes. Now, I can wrap these widget areas in divs. Um, they're just ordinary uh, CSS div class. Right, so if we wrap that there. So that's the opening div. Div class equals filled box. It's just to make it unique. It's got to be, whatever you use, it's got to be unique. We'll just open that box up a bit. Um, and we've got to close that. So. So what we've got there, this is a um, an empty div. And it's there to stop um, boxes collapsing. Sometimes, if, if you've done much CSS, you'll you'll discover that sometimes boxes collapse, um, and this is just to prevent the box collapsing. And that, so we've got the div opens here. We've got our class name. This is the name we're going to use to uh, to style the box. And this is so it opens there, and it closes here. Right. So we'll save that. Now all we need to do is style it. So let's see which is the easiest way to style it. What we can do, if we go to Genesis Extender Custom, there's this button that says Activate Front End CSS Builder. So we'll click that and we'll click Save. Wait to save for us. Now we click this. You can't see this View Front End until you've ticked that box and saved it. But once you have, you can click this. And what you can do now, you've got this blue button here. And if you click that, you've got some CSS options over here. Now it's a very tight box and we're struggling to fit things in here. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you as best I can like this. And there's a thing where you can pop out this, this CSS box here. So anyway, what we need to do. First of all, we need the class that we've made. And it was that fills box. So whatever we put, however we style this, we'll style these three boxes. So what I want to do first of all, I want to add a background color. Uh, so we go to backgrounds. I put in the, the class there. That's the class we made when we made our uh, hook box. So we've got the backgrounds. The color I want to use is. You can just pick one from here if you want to. I just happen to oh, have that written down. Now then, this is one of the problems you face. It's it, it will keep putting things in or outside of your um, of your CSS there, out of, out of your curly braces. So you've got to be careful. Make sure whenever you click something here to put it into the code box, make sure it goes inside the curly braces. Right, so we want the colour of the font. So over here we've got fonts. And I want white, so it's made the fonts go white. I want some padding. So we've got margins and padding here. Make sure we're still, yeah, we're still inside there. Make sure we're still inside the curly braces. Margins and paddings. Padding, I want 15 pixels. Right, so I'm going to click insert. We added a bit of padding. Right, now I want to style these boxes here. So what I'm going to do, when you've built your code in here, you've got to click this button and it puts it into a box below. Now I can't actually show you that because the screen's not big enough. But it's gone down there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click that pop out button or click save changes. And what you can do is click this button that says pop out. It pops this little uh, editor box there for you. So but with the other one, we can't. It doesn't just quite fit. So I'll have to do it like this. 
I want to edit these. So what we do, we'll click Save Changes, and then this way it says Elements there. If you click that, and then Enable Element Selectors, see it's given these little buttons we can click. Now Custom Widget is what I want, because that's the, the custom widget that we're building. It's not, it's not all widgets, it's just this custom one. And what I really want is the H4 heading area. That, And when it changes colour like that, it means that that's the bit that will be affected if we use this, this particular piece of um, code. And there it is. That's the bit of code we're going to use. And all I want to do is change the background colour. So I'll go to backgrounds. And the colour is... So, click to insert that one. See, it's changed the colour. I want to make the font weight bold. So we go to fonts. Make sure we see how we're still inside the uh, the curly braces. Fonts. I want it to be font weight bold, like that. So it's made it bold. And I want the colour to be white. So font colour made it white. And now I want some padding around that. I want these boxes to be a bit bigger, a bit, a bit of padding around it. So make sure we're still inside the curly braces there. And I want padding 15. Uh, we'll have to, let's go and we'll have 15 picks here, whatever it was. It's a bit big, but never mind. So there we go. That's added that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy this and paste that, or cut it, and paste it in here. There we go. Click save. Normally what you do, you put it in here and then you click that button and it puts it in the box underneath but there's just it just isn't big enough it can't, it can't show you on this screen so I've done another video actually about CSS so you can, if you watch that one it'll give you a much better idea so we've saved our changes we'll hide the CSS builder and that's what we've got with just a few minutes work at one time it used to take a long time to build boxes like this it was really difficult but now with, uh, with Genesis framework and this Genesis extender plugin makes things much easier so and it's responsive too so if you've got a smaller screen um, suppose you've got uh, an iPad or something like that it'll resize and then when it gets to a certain size the boxes move so it's fully responsive if you're using a, it's responsive if, if you're using a responsive thing anyway that's that's basically the the, uh, the long and the short of it Thanks for watching. I do hope you give Genesis Extender a try. So I think it's a good plugin. It's about fifty dollars, which is about thirty pound in English money. But I think it's well worth it. If you've got the, you've got to have the Genesis framework, which you've got to buy, and you've got to have uh, Genesis Extender, and they work for it. works on WordPress websites. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.